everybody! How's it going today? Chelsea here. I'm really, really excited to give you, finally, <laughs> the update that you've all been waiting for. I know I've had so many people message me on Instagram and Facebook about this because I have not updated since I made the announcement video for my entire Pokedex Pokemon Over 700 Hats hat challenge. And if you don't know what this is, I will link the video in the cards above and in the description below so that you can go watch that video first. It is the introduction to what I'm doing here. Pretty much I'm just making all the hats, all the Pokemon into hats. And I go into more greater detail there and I explain everything. So just please go watch that first. This is just going to be a quick little update showing you how many I've made so far. And I am trying to go in order of the Pokedex. So I hope to continue doing that just because it is more challenging that way. I don't get to just skip and do the fun ones or the easy ones. I have to actually do all of them and it won't leave me with a bunch of really, really hard, not as fun ones at the end. So this way I'll get to do some hard ones and some fun ones in the middle there and some really easy ones. So today I have only four hats because I have been on a hiatus, but I did make these in between that hiatus. I just haven't pictured them or anything. So this is really, really new and exciting and I haven't really shown anyone these hats yet. So I'm just really, really excited about them. Okay, the first one you saw because I did have it pre-made for the last video. We have Bulbasaur. Isn't it so cute? Oh my God, I love it. Um, Bulbasaur is a hat that I've made several times because I've had a lot of customers want it, custom made, and I've even done shiny versions and it's just really, really precious. I stinking love these hats. They're so comfy and warm and especially in this weather where it's like nasty and cold and they do cover up your ears, at least mostly, and they fit most adult people. You know, they're really, really good for that kind of thing. They're great gifts and I've given several, I've done so many versions of this hat, some with tendrils, some with different color schemes. Like I, it's literally a super fun hat to make and remake. It's very, very easy for me. Um, I did use a permanent non-toxic fabric paint for the eyes just because I like to do that with my eyes because it's easier for me, first of all, and it takes less time and it stays just as permanent as sewing it would. And I just think it looks better. I can get a lot more small, tiny detail into these eyes. This one's not as much, but I even do it for the nose. You see what I'm saying? Like it's, it's just easier for me and it's way more precise and I can get more detail out of it. So I'm sure in the future you will see what I'm talking about when I mean precise detail, because I've done some really crazy stuff with those fabric paints, but I do not like them to be an over percentage of the hat because it will get real hard and crusty. So if it's hard and crusty right here, it's no big deal because it's on the outer decor of the hat. So there is a layer of fabric in between it and the hat. So that's, that's always a good, a good sign. It's just really cute. I love it. The colors are perfect. I found exactly the colors I was looking for and um, I am going to list every hat that I show you in these updates on my store Envy. So if you're interested in purchasing one because some of these will get crazy and some of them I don't make very often because I don't sell them in my Etsy anymore and that's the one that I make the most money in. But I will list them on Store Envy. I know I keep jabbering, but you can check the description for that link if you want to purchase any of these. Basically just charge for my time and materials, not really any fancy flouncy pricing, but I hope that you guys will check that out because that does help me fund my art, anything else I want to pursue in the future as far as art goes. So yeah, there's the Bulbasaur one. So that's number one in the Pokedex. Number two in the National Pokedex is Ivysaur. Um, for some reason in my brain, I always mix Ivysaur and Venusaur's names, but I, I know what they look like. I just get their names mixed up. This one is pretty much the exact same, but just a little bit different. The eyes are definitely different. They're very similar in design though, because you know, it's the middle evolution of Bulbasaur. These are gonna mess my hair up, but oh well. And he has the little black things in the ears. You can definitely see some difference in these. And it has little black dots in the eyes along with some expressive markings on the face. Um, very, very soft. I did choose a different color for this one because I think he is a little darker in tone when I'm looking at all of the photos that pull up on Google and in the National Dex photos. So um, very similar, but just a little bit different. Very cute. That will also be in the store. Now this one, guys, 
guys. I am really excited about this one. I know I've had people tell me they're very curious how I'm going to do Venusaur because of the stalk and all of the leaves and stuff. Well, I did a lot of sketching and I've lost the papers for them. I plan on showing you sketches in the future and I've got a better system of organizing them and keeping them than I did before. For this one, it's just going to be kind of a surprise. I contemplated not putting a face on this hat, but I decided overall it was necessary. Look, you guys, look at what I did. I am so proud of this hat. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if it looks great based off of I can't see myself right now when I'm filming. It stands up on its own. It has its own little stalk here and the flower with all the details on it. Oh my gosh, this hat was a lot of work to make. It, it, it for sure took days for me to finish it because I do have a full-time job during the day but it is so cute and rewarding and I cannot get over how adorable it is and it feels so good and natural it doesn't it doesn't weigh my head down I barely feel this at all it is stuffed with polyfill stuffing so you can definitely squeeze it like a plushie it's so cute like I love him so much and I want to wear him every day but like you know I can't do that <laughs> but I will definitely list him if you want to buy him. He's going to be a little bit more expensive because he did take so much time for me to make and I have to justify that time. I seriously cannot get over how much I love this. Like look, he's got the little leaf in the front with the little details and then he's also got it in the back. That was the only way that I could see myself doing that and it not looking too over overly busy if you know what I'm saying like when you're making art you have to make sure it's not too busy or it it's too much. Too much you know. But I really really love this flower. It is perfect and it's exactly what I was wanting and the eyes you can see the little um eyelids they look protruding like his actual eyes would and then the little nose slits and on the other side the eye they do a pretty good job of looking 3d so I think I did a pretty darn good job on this one and I'm, I'm really really proud of it oh yeah and the ears have the little pink inside so yep there's the back and there's the front so uh, yeah, go check that one out in a sword and be if you want to pick it up for yourself. I'm just I'm just really proud that I got this one done because I've never made this one before. This was a 100% new hat that I had never made. <laughs> Number four on the National Pokedex is Charmander, a lot of people's favorite starter. I have made this one several times and this is the one I decided to design. It's a little bit different. I did make this one a little bit tighter just because I wanted it to be more snug. I like to have some that are a little more snug and some that are a little more loose. This one is a tiny bit more snug, but it still fits me just fine. It would not give me a headache or anything. But keep that in mind if you're purchasing it. It might be slightly smaller than those, but still fits me. With Charmander, I just did a basic orange hat and I put the cute little face design on it. I think I chose like a turquoise um, teal color for the eyes in this one. I've seen him in pictures with bright blue eyes. I've seen him with green eyes. I've seen him with purple eyes. So I just chose like an in-between green and blue. Um, and it's very cute. I did some detail with the fabric paint. I finished it last night. I think he's so adorable and so comfortable and cute. So really, really excited that I'm doing this project. Like I just get so excited thinking about all of the future Pokemon I'm going to get to make hats out of because some of them I've done and I know how difficult they can be or how fun they can be. But also there's some that I've never attempted, plenty that I've never attempted. And I'm very curious if they're going to be flops or not because sometimes you mess up and sometimes they don't turn out very well like these are pretty easy designs excluding the venusaur one i'm not always going to get them right you know and if they are still wearable and okay i might still list them depending on how bad they are you know what i'm saying like i don't want to sell something that i am not comfortable selling so if it's a flop I might try them again and I might just, you know, move on and say that one was a loss. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. It depends on how badly that particular design puts me in a slump because I don't want to not do this anymore. I want this to be a fun thing that I work on for years, hopefully. Hopefully I don't give up on it. Um, that always depends on, you know, your financial situation. But this is a really fun project that I'm seriously enjoying the heck out of. And I've got so many ideas in my head going. Along with I'm making other hats in the meantime. Time. Um, I make baby hats. I make adult hats that aren't themed like that. They're just animals or food or just fun cute designs. You can check out stuff like that in my Etsy. I'll put the link in the description below if you want to see what I sell on my Etsy. 
Um, I've got so many new things I need to put up there and I haven't yet, so hopefully I'll have those up soon. But right now there are stickers on there too and I do a ton of stickers. I just love making stickers. And I also have a video I'll link in the cards on how I make my stickers. So if you're interested in how to make your own, you can do that. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope to have a new update within the next couple weeks, maybe. I don't know, sometimes I may only have one or two hats and then I may have like 10 hats. Um, the goal is to have no less than two to show you at a time though because I do want these videos to have more than one hat in them because, you know, for one, I can't talk that long about one hat and two, I want it to have as many in, in there as possible because I just want to show you guys what I've been working on. So um, I'll do, I'm, gonna, I'm done jabbering. I'm done jabbering now. I'm just really excited to be back and working on these things. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Stay safe and I hope you just are doing something creative. You know, even if it's not art, do something creative today or tomorrow. You know, just use your creative spirit and do something fun. <laughs> Bye guys.